So, word on the street, I heard you're single. Yes, Why is I that? am. Um, because I think not all men, a lot of men right now act like women. And they just want more. Bring back the patriarchy. I want to stay at home. I want to take care of my kids. What do you mean buy you flowers? What do you mean pay for dinner? <laughs> what do you mean 50-50? What is that? I don't believe in that. What do you want? What do you believe? I want a man to take care of me. So you want to be a housewife? I want to be a housewife. Okay. Yeah. The old traditional that. way? Traditional. I'll do it. I don't mind. I'll do it. Fuck it. All right. Let's say you meet you meet the guy that does all that. Like He's willing to take you in and you basically be the woman to take care of everything. Yeah. Now, does he got complete control over you? Whoop, whoop. Like saying, like, all right, delete your Instagram. You can't be dressing all slutty okay, out okay. in the street. Here's my thing. I'm not going to be dressing all slutty and, like, having Instagram. If I found the one and he gives me everything I need, he doesn't even have to ask me for that. I already did it. I like this one. You'll delete without it? Him, oh, yeah, for sure, without him even having to ask. I what about he it. wants to every time? Yeah, okay, yeah, for sure, yeah, 100%. 100%. If he provides for me, he's a good husband, he's loyal, everything, he's good to our kids. What more could you ask for in a man? That's what I need. I need a provider. What if he wants to slap you one time? Okay, that's crazy. Okay. <laughs> She's decent. She said, if I find the one, I wouldn't dress slutty, I wouldn't put things on Instagram. But the thing is, you have to be doing all the things you wouldn't do once you find the one before you find him in order to find him. And you see, she, she was, she's willing to submit. You know, the issue is not in submission. The question is more in to whom you're submitting. You need to find the man that will be worthy of your submission. And here comes the struggle. Here comes the, the biggest challenge. And you will not find this man if you're doing the wrong things. You cannot say, I will change once I find this man. You should do all the things that you would do when you are with this man and you would attract this man into your life. You know, there is a difference between Western men and Middle Eastern men. We don't have the same issues. And if you have your concerns and you have the, the struggles that come with the, with the culture and with the community that you are in, don't expect to find them in within a Middle Eastern man, especially a traditional man or Muslim man. Because I see same as these clips all around the internet and I see also clips from podcasts where men would invite women and they would put them in a bad light. They would make them feel stupid just to probe certain arguments and certain points about how men and women are not equal. And all the women who are fighting against patriarchy and, and they're fighting also for gender equality, they want everyone to neglect the fact that there is difference between men and women. But if you look at what they want from that, they want to feel appreciated, they want to feel protected, they want to feel that they are worthy of having something, they don't want discrimination, and they feel mistreated. They want to feel that they are treated well. And to be treated well, it doesn't mean that you need to be equal to the other gender. A Muslim man knows since he's a child, me when I was a, a kid, I had sisters and my parents were always tougher on me than on my sisters. Even if my sister was wrong, I would be told, you are the man. What, are you going to compare yourself to her? It is the same when you're giving your chair for someone who's older than you to sit on. This is the privilege that women have in our society. If a woman in our society will get, I don't know, harassed in the street, you'd find men jumping to defend her. Because we know that women are not the same as men. We know that men are stronger than women. We know that they should be protected. They should be provided for. And so we treat all women as if they were our sisters. This is how, how, how we are in our community. So the, the idea from, from this, why I'm speaking about this, is when you go with a relationship where the man is not from the same culture that you are, don't have the same fears that you would have from any other man that you would have from your, your culture. And when you see me here in the channel saying about how you should respect your man, it's because I'm directing my message to women. But we know that sometimes you are emotional and we are logical. And sometimes we will endure anything that comes from you because we are the men. We were brought up to be men. We were brought up to support you regardless. Yeah, you would find us sometimes be angry and be upset about what you do. But we are told since we were kids that 
a woman should be respected, a woman should be protected outside the hall and inside the hall. You find two women going down the stairs and the man will, will step aside letting the two women pass. We, you ha we have enormous respect for women. Even authorities respect women more than men. In countries you would see that police would stop you and you have a woman with you in the car and they will let you pass. To the level that some criminals started to dress like women and have makeups just to, to, to look like women so that they can break the law and, and, and pass these controls from the cops to this level. This is how we respect our women. We are not objectifying our women. We are not trying to make some money out of making women, our women, look stupid in front of the public. So if you go with a Middle Eastern man, don't have the same fears that you would have or that you have from the ideas that you come across in the internet or across any media that you, you consume. All the, all the issues that feminism might bring to your attention, you will not face them in the Middle Eastern countries or when you are with a Middle Eastern man. And feminism and women liberation, how old they are? 200 years, 150 years. It is a revolution that came to achieve some goals for women just recently, but our women have their own rights since long time. So you, you will not achieve what you want just by saying that men and women are the same in our community, because we know that we are not the same. And this does not give us advantage. It just gives us more responsibility and we expect a man to do more than what you will do we expect the man to endure more than what you will endure but as i said the reason i sometimes say in this channel be respectful appreciate the man is because i'm directing my message to you even though i know that you will not be completely able to do a lot of things but this is just as a positive message to tell you how it could be good if he would treat your man. But regardless of how you will treat him, a good man, a traditional Arab man, he will accept a lot of things just for you and for the kids. Because he is a real man. He's a man who was brought up to believe that a woman should be treated well. He was raised up to know that he should be compassionate with a woman. That he should not be competing with her over the little things. He knows that sometimes he will not be appreciated but he should do his job and he should fulfill his duties regardless. So this is just a short one and I just wanted to react to this video because I found it interesting. The lady wants patriarchy back, she wants to be provided for, she wants to be protected and she's willing to do everything once she finds the man. And this is just to say that a lot of women would want to be housewives, would want to be living the luxury of staying with a man and providing everything she can in her own way to the family and letting the man do his own things. And she's saying, 50-50, what is this? You don't have to get what you're missing emotionally by having gender equality. You can be different because you are different, but you still can get all what you want and at the same time acknowledging that you are different and a man is different. And be you being both equal is not the solution. So that's the short one. I hope I didn't rumble a lot. We'll keep it at this link. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next one.